more than 900 Kenyan troops are currently deployed in Goma City, Eastern Congo, under the banner of the regional bloc to defend that city and areas around it from the M23 rebels, which is a well-organized, well-trained, and well-equipped rebel outfit supported by the Rwandan government. So the Kenyan troops are there to ensure that the, these rebels do not take over the city of Goma, as they had sworn at the beginning of the campaign. I know some of you came to this video so that you can witness some action between Kenyan troops and M23 or between the Kenyan Special Forces and the M23 Special Forces. But unfortunately, I'm sorry to disappoint you, that action hasn't started yet. But it doesn't mean it won't happen because what is happening is that the M23 are near this place called Kibumba, which is very close to the city of Goma. And you can bet the recon teams from the M23 are currently scouting and observing the Kenyan troop movement and positions before they can make their moves. And as for the Kenyan troops, they are not underestimating the M23 because, as I said earlier, this is a well organized, well trained rebel outfit supported by Rwanda. So the Kenyan troops have about a hundred special forces among them, you know, from the Kenya Special Force Battalion and Kenya Ranger battalion and you can see these special forces mostly around high value assets like the airport uh, others who are seen you know doing recon missions within the city they do these patrols within the city and i've seen others guarding these are the special force guarding high value assets like mostly top ranking officers from the kenyan defense forces others mostly guard even the top ranking officers from the congolese army so these are the special forces and don't confuse them with the just a normal Kenyan soldier, a normal serviceman because they both have the same type of rifle. I've seen some videos and posts saying that the FN scar, which is a very expensive rifle, means that anyone with it is a special force. That's not the case in the Kenyan army because that's, I think, the standard rifle for most Kenyan soldiers deployed abroad. So... The special force are the guys in the barcravas, you know, the black mask. And you'll notice that the ones with the green fatigues are usually the rangers. And the ones with mostly light colored grayish kind of fatigues are the special force battalion. So these are guys who are highly trained by American special force trainers and British special force trainers. Actually, most of them even go to those countries to be trained. So these are highly trained soldiers.